Now in this tutorial what I'm going to do is show you how we differentiate this equation here y equals 3x squared minus 1 all to the power of 4 divided by 5x minus 2 all cubed. And this is a typical example where we have two functions of x being divided by one another that involves using the quotient rule. What is the quotient rule? Well if you're not sure of it here it is here. You'll find it in most formula books, but I would encourage you to try and learn it. What it is, is if you have y equals u over v, where u and v are two functions of x, as we have here, u would be the 3x squared minus 1 to the power 4, and v would be the 5x minus 2 to the power 3. Then it can be shown that dy by dx is always equal to v times du dx minus u times dv dx all over v squared. Or you could say it's the bottom of the fraction multiplied by the differential of the top of the fraction minus the top multiplied by the differential of the bottom of the fraction all divided by the bottom of the fraction squared. Alright, so let's see if we can crack on then. So to differentiate this dy by dx what we need to do then is v the bottom of the fraction, so we put that in brackets, 5x minus 2, all cubed. Now we have to differentiate the top of the fraction. Now to differentiate the top of the fraction requires the chain rule. So I hope you're familiar with the chain rule. If not, go to my website and look under the tutorials for the chain rule. On the assumption then that you're okay at differentiating this via the chain rule, make sure you have a square bracket here. What we would get is 4 times the bracket to the power 3, so we would have 4 times the bracket 3x squared minus 1 all to the power 3 and then we have to multiply it by the differential of the bracket. So differentiating what you see inside the bracket would give simply 6x. So put that in a bracket, 6x there and close off the square bracket. So we've got u, sorry, we have got v multiplied by du dx. Now we need to do minus u dv dx, so minus u being the top of the fraction, so put that in brackets as 3x squared minus 1 to the power 4, and now we need to multiply it by the differential of what you see in the bottom here, 5x minus 2 all cubed. And to differentiate this, you need to use the chain rule. So I put a square bracket up, and differentiating this by the chain rule will give 3 lots of 5x minus 2 to the power 2. So we just put that in as 3 lots of 5x minus 2 to the power 2. And then it's multiplied by the differential of what you see inside the bracket, which would be 5. And then close off the square bracket. So that's u dv dx done here. And it's all divided by the bottom of the fraction squared. So we've got to square 5x minus 2 cubed. So that's going to be 5x minus 2 all to the power 6. So I'll write that in there as 5x minus 2 all to the power 6. Well, this looks really complicated, but in questions like this, what we need to do, as I've said before, is simplify each term that you see on the top. We've got two terms on the top, and we need to simplify them. So looking at this first term, it would look better if we write the 6x well, I can say see that I could multiply the 6 with the 4, that's 24, and then I've got 24x. So write that at the front here, 24x. And then let's write the 5x minus 2 cubed. 5x minus 2, all cubed. And then the 3x squared minus 1, all cubed. So that's the cleaned up version of the first term. Now we look at this term, we've got 3 times 5 which is 15, so we've got minus 15 and then 
I would put the 5x minus 2 all squared, 5x minus 2 all squared, and then the 3x squared minus 1 to the power 4. 3x squared minus 1 all to the power 4. And then it's all divided by 5x minus 2 to the power 6. So 5x minus 2 to the power 6. So I've gone through the next stage then of cleaning up each term. The next stage is always to see if there are any common factors in these two terms. And if there are, to factorize it. So when I look across these two terms, I notice that I've got 3 that divides into 15 and 24. So 3 is a common factor, a highest common factor there. What else do I notice? I notice that I've got a 5x minus 2 here and a 5x minus 2 here and I've got it to the power 2 and 5x minus 2 squared would fit into here. So 5x minus 2 all squared would also be a common factor. What else have I got? I've got 3x squared minus 1 cubed which fits into here. So we've got 3x squared minus 1 all cubed as a common factor. So this is my highest common factor. So what I do now is put another square bracket. Always put a square bracket here. So looking at the first term, what do I need to multiply this by to get this? Well I need certainly an 8, 3 eighths are 24. I need an x. I've got 5x minus 2 squared. I need to bring it up to a cube, so I need another 5x minus 2. 3x squared minus 1 all cubed. I've got that out the front here, so that's the end of that part. Now I move on to this term, minus. In order to bring the 3 to a 15, I've got to multiply it by a 5, so put a 5 there. 5x minus 2 squared is out the front here, so I don't need to do anything there. I've got 3x squared minus 1 cubed, and I've got to get it up to the power 4, so I just need to multiply that by 3x squared minus 1, and that's it. So square off the bracket and divide all of this now by 5x minus 2 to the power 6. Alright, now what I need to do next is always tidy up what we've got in the square bracket. So I'll just copy this part down next. So we've got 3 bracket 5x minus 2 all squared multiplied by 3x squared minus 1 cubed. Now I can reduce the square bracket to a curve bracket and I'll expand this out. So we've got 8x times 5x, so that's 40x squared. And then 8x times minus 2, minus 16x. And here we've got minus 15x squared. And then plus 5. All over 5x minus 2, all to the power 6. Now I've got one term on the top made up of lots of factors and I can see that 5x minus 2 all squared is a common factor. It's contained down here in the 5x minus 2 to the power 6 so I could actually cancel that out. That goes into that once and it goes into this leaving power 4 down there. In fact I could have done it on this line here. Anyway I've done it down here so it doesn't matter but what I can do now though is just simplify this bracket here and I think we'll be nearly there. So we'll just copy the 3 down and then we've got this bit here 3x squared minus 1 all cubed and then in this bracket here I've got 40x squared minus 15x squared so that's going to be 25x squared so put that there 25x squared minus 16x and then plus 5 and that's all divided then by 5x 
minus 2 all to the power 4. All right, you might like to check out that quadratic expression, see if it factorizes. If you do, you'll find that it doesn't factorize, but it's always worth checking. So that brings us now to the end of differentiating this equation up here. And you can see the method that I've used. Very important then to simplify the two terms that you've got. Then look for common factors. If you've got a common factor, pull it out front. Clean up the square bracket down here. If the square bracket factorizes further, take that opportunity. If not, you should find then you get to the end of the answer. Always do it by this system and you should never go wrong. Okay.